conversation with a few folks from my HR department today about the vaccine mandates that my company put in place. Um, more or less saying for all US employees, if you're not vaccinated by December 8th, or I should say if you don't provide proof of vaccination by December 8th, um, you're no longer eligible for employment with the company. Uh, aside from medical or religious exemptions, no exceptions. No um, saying I'm willing to be tested. No, I only work remotely and I'm never near people. No exceptions. You're vaccinated or uh, you can no longer work here. So I'm having a conversation with my HR department, I guess for two reasons. Um, one, and they're related, but one very directly, uh, I want to have a conversation with our team on our next team uh, call this week about the topic. I want to kind of create a platform and environment for people to ask questions, whether those be logistical, like how exactly do I show proof? Um, what happens if I don't have it by the exact date? Uh, what happens if I get turned, right? Like what, what are the specifics of, what are the logistics of this new policy and, and how it impacts me? Uh, but also a platform or, or an environment for them to, to voice support, concern. I mean, it's a, it's a pretty big deal. Um, it's a pretty important thing. So personally, I don't think it should be glossed over. I don't think it should be brushed under the rug. I think it should be out and openly discussed. So I want to create an environment for that. Whether people want to discuss it or not, we'll see. So the reason for the meeting with HR is to, is to just kind of have a conversation with them first so that I'm as educated as possible for the conversation with the team. Understand the official perspective and the, and the points from the company, get some of the answers to those logistical questions or at least know where to get them. Um, kind of make sure I'm, I'm up to speed. But I guess the second reason for the meeting with HR, and, and as, I, as I said, it's related, is <clears throat> I, I have some concerns, right? I want to create an environment for my team if they want to voice any concerns, but I have concerns. And I want to use this a little bit to get some understanding from them about those. I want to understand a little bit better how I can or, or if they can provide more insight, more clarity on how the decision was made, why it was made, um, what the considerations were, some of the implications of it um, for the same reasons, right? It's, it's, it's a big deal. If the company passed a policy tomorrow that said, if you don't complete this training by this date, you can no longer work here, um, that's a big deal. I'd, I'd want to understand. I, I, you know, when you, when you throw out something with that heavy of a consequence, I think it's only responsible and logical to understand that, to give it the due respect, appreciation, and time that it deserves. Um, so I, I, I'm fully aware of the sensitivity of talking about vaccines and mandates, both the political sensitivity as well as the real life or death sensitivity of it. But I don't think that's a reason or an excuse to shy away from it. Right? If, if the company is going to put a policy in place and send out an email to all employees about it, I, I don't think you can then say or assume, well, we can't talk about it, though. It's too sensitive. We have to talk about it. Again, logistically, we have to talk about it. But even more philosophically, from where I sit, we have to talk about it because it, it's entirely possible this is the right decision. It's entirely possible the company is doing something that's, that's net positive for the company, for the country, for the world, for society, whatever. It's entirely possible. But it's also entirely possible that it's a mistake. It's entirely possible that this sets a bad precedent, that this sends us down a, a path that leads to some bad outcomes in terms of the level of control that a company can exert over us or, or, or the government can exert over a company and then ultimately over us. Um, into the loss of, of some freedoms around that, into the ways in which they can enforce policies that they believe we should comply with, right? Um, it can set some precedent around companies ultimately developing a point of view on what's best for their employees from a personal health medical perspective. Um, it could do a lot of those things. Now, I'm not saying that it is going to do those things. I'm not even saying that the odds of it creating those things is dramatically high. Like there's a 90% chance it's gonna cause bad outcomes. But there is a chance, and I think it's a significantly greater than 0% chance. 
So for that reason, this healthy dialogue, skepticism, tension, um, I believe is necessary. You know, many people that I speak to and I say, hey, I'm meeting with HR about this, they, they kind of cringe and they're like, well, what are you doing? And it's funny because I get it, right? Logically, I understand that. And there's some concerns about well-being and, and job stability and money and all that stuff, being able to take care of your family and pay your mortgage. But at the same time, it almost makes me cringe in reverse. Like, how, how could you not have conversations about this? How could you not want to make sure you're talking about this and you're expressing some healthy skepticism, just putting some checks in place to make sure that we aren't just kind of willingly going, going along with stuff, particularly if the fear is that, hey, if you talk about this, you can get fired or you may you know, not be able to feed your family because you talked about something, because you thoughtfully, in good faith, asked to have a conversation about something. If that dynamic is such where doing that puts you at risk, well, if anything, that just helps make the case that there's a risk here. <laughs> that shouldn't be a dynamic, right? And it, and, it, and it helps give some validation that this conversation has to be had. Um, now, I don't know how it's going to go for a number of reasons. I don't know what exactly they're going to say. I don't know how much information they have. I don't know how much information they can share. I don't know how they're going to handle somebody questioning them. I don't know how they're going to handle somebody trying to do it in the right Feynman-like way that, that is ferociously open-minded but ferociously skeptical, that's probing and trying to get to the truth, not for an agenda, not to prove a point, but to get more information. Will they get defensive? Um, will they not know how to answer these questions? Will they get angry? Will they get frustrated? I, I don't know. I don't know where it's going to go. Um, I don't know what the outcome is going to be for me if I'm going to have to ultimately talk to somebody else in HR or be put on some list or maybe be fired because I asked to have this conversation. It gets back to something I talk about all the time, though, about being thoughtfully authentic. For me, thoughtfully, you do the work. And I've thought about this a ton and I'm continuing to think about it. I have conversations with multiple people about this. Is this the right thing to do for me? Do I believe I should have this conversation? Are these concerns that I'm having, are they logical? Have I looked at it from all different perspectives? Have I challenged myself? Have I done all the work? Have I been thoughtful? If the answer is yes, and you feel like you're being authentic to yourself, you've done all that work, and you've determined that, hey, I have some value or some belief or some concern, and I've done the work on it, and for me, this feels like what I have to do, well, then you have to do it. You have to do it the right way. Again, you have to do the work. But for me, I have to do it. I can't imagine a scenario where I don't. I can't imagine a scenario where I genuinely believe this is the right thing for me to do and I don't take action on it. So we'll see where the chips fall. We'll see how it all plays out. But that's my rationale for, for having this conversation and maybe, maybe taking this risk.